Domain and Range Notes Day 3. All right, so today we are breaking down word problems where they're talking about domain and range. So let's go ahead and let's read this first problem. A high school student gets paid $8 an hour working at a fast food chain. If the amount of money earned is a function of the number of hours worked, what is the range of this function if the domain is 2.5 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 4? You guys, the math in this problem is super simple. The phrasing of this problem, however, gives us a little bit of trouble. So what I want to do is I want to talk about the phrase that we mentioned yesterday and the day before. And that really special phrase is this. We say, we always say it this way, y is a function of x. Okay? We always say it in this order. We always say it is y a function of x. All right? So in these problems where they're talking about domain and range, we always have to think about, okay, well, what is domain? Well, we know, right, that domain is x. And we know that range is y. So if we can figure out what they mean when they're saying the amount of money earned is a function of the number of hours worked, if we can figure out what those, which of those variables are x's and y's, this question becomes really simple to answer. And the key to being able to do that is understanding this phrase, right, this phrase right here. We're going to say, is a function of. All right, this is the phrase that allows us to break up this problem and have it be very easy to answer. All right, so in my problem it says that the amount of money earned is a function of the number of hours worked. And so we're going to kind of follow this same pattern here. Do you see how the y value is in the front of this phrase? The y value is a function of the x value. So since it's in front of the phrase, we're going to kind of extend that to our words in our word problem and assume that the y is talking about the amount of money earned. Okay? And using that same train of logic, we're going to go ahead and we're going to say that since x is at the end of that phrase, right, is a function of x, then in this case is a function of the number of hours worked, then we're going to say x is talking about the number of hours worked. And now that we understand this, this problem becomes a lot easier to answer because they're not saying what is the domain of this, or sorry, they're not saying what is the range of this function. They're not saying what is the y values of this function. They're saying what are the possible earnings for this function, right? How much money could be made using this function? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to write out what we know. They told us that the domain for this function was 2 0.5, less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 4. Okay, so really think here. Domain is the number of hours worked. So what this really says is that someone's working between 2.5 to 4 hours. All right, so let's kind of explain that underneath. All right, working between 2.5 to 4 hours. That's what this means. So then we got to figure out the range. we got to figure out these numbers. Well, we know that whatever it is, it's going to be the amount of money earned, right? So if we know the time he's working, we should be able to figure out the amount of money he earns based on the fact that they told us he works $8 an hour. So if he works for $2, sorry, for two and a half hours, what's 2.5 times 8? Well, 2.5 gives me... 20, right? So if he works for the minimum amount of time, he's going to make the minimum amount of money, which is going to be $20. If he works for four hours at $8 an hour, he's going to be making four times eight is $32 total. So just like we said, he's going to be working between 2.5 and four hours. That means he's going to be making between, so let's write why between, kind of like our domain is written, he's going to be making between 20 to $32. Okay, that's what the range means for this problem, right? If he works between two and a half and four hours, he's going to be making between 20 to $32. And that's our range. Remember, the key to answering this question is just understanding what are my x values, what are my y values, because if you know those, then hopefully you know what your domain and range values are. Next problem, here we go. American Airlines charges $25 for every bag that a passenger checks in. A typical overseas flight has between 200 to 450 bags that are checked in. If the amount of money the airlines makes from checked bags is a function of the number of bags checked in, 
what is the range of this function? So we're going to go a little faster this time. We're going to follow the same process. Remember the phrase that we're looking for since we're being asked about domain and range and functions. We're looking for this phrase is a function of. Is a function of. Okay, remember, the y comes first. So the money the airline makes from checked bags, that's going to be my y value. I'm going to say money made. After the y value comes the x value, right? After this phrase, so the number of bags checked in must be my x value. Okay. And now up above, do you see that we wrote domain and then we wrote range under it? Well, they didn't actually write an inequality this time. But they did tell us that we're making between, sorry, that we're checking between 200 and 450 bags. Isn't that an x value? And that is a domain value then? So we're going to say our domain values are going to run from 200 to 450 bags. And we do x less than or equal to here. So basically we're going to check between, right, x is between 200 to 450 bags. So then our range, we're talking about how much money we're going to make. Well, we know that they're $25 for every bag that we check. So if we're doing $25 for every bag and we check in 200 bags, well, all we got to do to find this, kind of like the one above, right, it's just multiply times $25 each. Because that's going to give me $5,000, right? Let me check my math here really quick. 25 times 200, yeah. That's going to give me $5,000, right? Now, my 450 bags, they're still costing the same, $25 each. But if I check 450 bags, how much is that going to make for the airlines? Let's see here. That will make them $11,250. Okay? So... Hopefully this relationship makes sense, right? If I check between 200 and 450 bags, then I'm going to make between 5,000 to 1,100, 250 dollars. Okay, so the range for this function is this one down here. Okay, good luck. And remember your special phrase, y is a function of x. Okay, that will save you on these confusing word problems.